Explorer 49 also called Radio Astronomy Explorer B, Ray B was a 328 kg satellite launched on June 10, 1973 for long-wave radio astronomy research. It had four 230-meter-long X-shaped antenna elements, which made it one of the largest spacecraft ever built. Launch. <laughs> 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 Explorer 49 was launched after the termination of the Apollo program, and although it did not examine the Moon directly, it became the last American lunar mission until the launch of Clementine spacecraft in 1994. <laughs> Orbit This mission was the second of a pair of Radio Astronomy Explorer Ray satellites, Explorer 38 or Ray are being the first. Explorer 49 was placed into lunar orbit to provide radio astronomical measurements of the planets, the Sun, and the galaxy over the frequency range of 25 kHz to 13.1 MHz. Since the spacecraft's design used gravity gradient booms, the lumpy lunar gravity field was a problem for the mission scientists. Mission Explorer 49 was placed in lunar orbit to record radio measurements from 25 kHz to 13.1 MHz of the Milky Way galaxy. Explorer 49 was placed into lunar orbit so that radio waves from Earth would not be as big of an interference as Explorer 38 had discovered. 1. Topic: <laughs> Experiments. The principal investigator for all the experiments was Dr. Robert G. Stone. Step frequency radiometers. Explorer 49 was equipped with two Ryle Vonberg RV receivers, one on the upper V antenna and the other on the lower V antenna. The radiometers were designed to measure at nine frequencies from 0.45 to 9.18 MHz. Two rapid burst receivers. Explorer 49 had three rapid burst receivers, one on the upper V antenna one the lower V antenna and the third on the middle dipole antenna. The burst receivers were composed of a pair of IF amplifiers and detectors one of the pair was used for backup. They detected on 32 channels between 25 kHz to 13.1 MHz. Three, Impedance probe, this was to test the engineering to calibrate the upper V antenna. 4 <laughs> <laughs> Data Data were returned to the Earth via either a low-power UHF, 400 MHz transmitter, in real time, or stored in an on-board tape recorder and transmitted to Earth via a high-power UHF transmitter 400 MHz. Two tape recorders provided backup storage, 5 Data collected on Explorer 49 was recorded on one of the 316mm microfilm tape recorder and then was returned to Earth through a high-power UHF, 400 MHz transmitter. Also data could be transmitted directly to Earth through a low-power UHF, 400 MHz transmitter. 6 <laughs> Defects. The third burst receiver on the dipole antenna failed after the first week and no data resulted from the receiver. 7 Mechanical flaw in the lower V antenna which caused the leg to only deploy to a length of 183 meters instead of 229 meters. It was corrected in November 1974 and extended to the full length of 229 meters. 8 Topic. See also 1973 in spaceflight Timeline of artificial satellites and space probes <laughs>